Hello and welcome. I welcome you to a special webinar for JFD Brokers, exclusively for um, JFD Brokers. Uh, topic today is the three columns of profitable trading, and um, so yeah, let's let's get started. Let's get started. I, I don't have something uh, um, 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 huge or big to say here uh, for the for the introduction. I haven't prepared anything to be honest. Um, since we'll um, yeah start with the with the topic with this topic, the three um, columns of profits for trading um, right away. So here's the risk disclaimer, and now this is the first slide. Um, so many of you who are now watching here live or who um, watch the recording of this event um, are probably completely new to trading. Some of you might have some, uh, already have some, some, some experience trading the markets. Um, and um, all in all, I think we can agree, we will agree that those who have some experience, probably some, some years of experience, um, that we will, we, or we can say that trading is definitely one of the, if not the toughest game in the world, while others um, might say, well, trading, um, I, I've heard that trading should be the toughest game in the world. This is especially true for newbies, but those um, will probably um, then say, well, what can be so tough to uh, buy low and sell high? Well, there are plenty of reasons this game uh, should be considered really tough, um, also for, <laughs> for the newbies. So um, first of all, it's one information, especially those getting started with trading and listening to me right now, as already said, trading is the toughest game in the world. Um, and the main reason for this is your opponents here in this game, before we start, by the way, so this, this, is, this is the introduction. This is the introduction, and then we'll um, and introduce those three columns of profitable trading is, uh, in my personal opinion, based on, built on. Um, we will introduce them. So your opponents in this game are some of the sharpest, some of the smartest, some of the most intelligent, some of the well-informed, most irrational, and also quite often most unethical minds in the world. So these are your opponents in this game. Um, if you're playing this game, you're playing against you're playing against computers which are faster than you can blink with an eye. So high frequency trading, this is a topic. Um, if it wasn't a topic for you before Michael Lewis book um, Flash Boys, it has um, or it will be definitely a topic be, be, um, 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 after that. Um, you're playing against traders who have way more experience than you have. So um, let's let's take me for example. I'm um, in this business now for a little over ten years, it's nine more than ten years by the way. So t 2004 minimum, um, and. Um, I'd say as a money manager, trading coach, um, or someone as me trading um, on my own account, but also managing money for my clients, um, I have definitely some some experience. Some of you um, definitely do not have, and um, so just imagine like um, well, let's let's take a picture here. So so just imagine two two people um, standing in front of each other, and one has I don't know 10, 15 years of mixed martial arts experience. And uh, you're both involved in a, in a in a fight here. Why ever? So just imagine that. Um, what do you think? Who has the the better chances here to win this fight? That's the same thing with traders. So if you have a plan, if you exactly know what you're doing, you are way ahead of nearly ninety, probably ninety five percent of all those other guys out there. Um, it's no big coincidence that um, nearly 90% of the people lose 90% of their money in 90, 90 days. So it's, um, it's a rule of thumb in the broker industry. And I'm definitely knowing what I'm talking about. So I've been on the other side here um, uh, for, for over six years. Um, and uh, I can definitely say that this rule of thumb is definitely true. So just imagine you're coming here, you, you want to play this game and you have no plan. And on the other side, there's someone who knows nearly everything, who has a clear advantage, a clear defined trading plan, who is uh, mentally stable. Um, I tell you, you have no chance. So for, for 
if if you get lucky, you 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 get probably lucky. That means you're making uh, money once or twice or something. But over the long run, which is on average for nine out of ten traders, uh, 90, 90 days, you will definitely lose nearly all of your money um, because you just do not know what you're doing. Um, and this is something which is perfectly covered in this and this uh, moment here when I say trader have way more experience than you have. There are funds out there who have more money than you have and you will ever have. So just imagine uh, the pockets of a big player. He can just stand there and somehow pull you out of the market for whatever reason. I mean, this is this is uh, just to, to give you an, 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 an idea of what's going on um, in the in the markets. Um, it's definitely nothing um, um, big players consider as uh, worth considering to be honest um, to think about how to to somehow kick around some retail traders but definitely you should always have in mind that there are some people out there who have definitely more money than you have and um, who are who just want one thing who they want to have your money too if it's just 10 ten thousand euros let's say and they are mil bill um, um, they are they are trading a one billion um, 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 hedge fund or something just imagine I'm making um, ten thousand euros 100 times so I'm taking ten thousand euros from 100 people out there it's one million um, now imagine you're making something like I don't know 20 percent performance fee on that or something hmm it's 200 grand you get probably as a bonus or something you can buy a nice house with that I'm just just um just 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 to give you an idea here um you're playing against insiders who have definitely more information than you have just imagine here in this case uh regarding uh, gordon gordon gecko 1987 in wall street if you're not inside you're outside that's a perfect perfect example here you're playing against your broker question mark i do not know but um not every broker is as cool and fair and transparent as by, by the way uh, jfd is this is something definitely worth mentioning here so um when i started my own um company and when i when i started to think about money managing money for for other people um you're looking for a broker here which is fair transparent and uh, straightforward and is not playing any games behind the scenes with you um, it's very difficult here to find such a broker. Um, just imagine that that um, the majority has a market making license. Okay, this means the, these people are allowed to trade against you. You, you sign um, the uh, you sign a contract here, so you're signing that they are trading against you. So everything should be fine. I mean, if I go to a casino or something, I know that the casino has an advantage. And if I go out with with more money than I uh, went into the casino, I just got lucky. Um, and I, I came out ahead and I shouldn't shouldn't re-enter it um, in the next few minutes since uh, if they found out that I took more money with me than I brought in um, they will definitely find a way to get their money back somehow and if we're just talking about 20 euros doesn't matter money is money and um, so this is definitely something you have to consider when when you're trading so if you sign a contract read between the lines or read carefully um, the small print not between the lines but the small print and uh, find out whether your broker probably has a uh, conflict of interest is trading against you if a broker has such an interest you're definitely trading against your broker too so it's not just that you have to find a way to um, to come along with yourself and uh, staying mentally stable here but you also have to make sure that you're not that you're also um, 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 find a way how to profit against your broker first then the computers come who are faster than you then the other traders with more experience come then the funds with more money the insiders with more information so you're nearly playing against everyone yourself as already mentioned so when I say mentally stable this is exactly what I'm talking about so this is your inner voice which is trying to manipulate you all the time um, and I mean Everyone who's listening to this right now knows how difficult it is to let a winner run and to cut the loser short. So how many times did you did you probably take out the stop working with kind of let's call it a, a, a shadow stop or something? Um, so you, you you try to to somehow um, um, catch your 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 own shadow, but you you will never do this. Um, same thing with the stop. You you probably you put a stop there because you read I don't know let's say market wizards from Schwager or something and their big traders speak traders who are in this business for for a long long time and they say cut your loser short work with stops um, so 
this is exactly the point where it's getting interesting since you'll say okay well if someone like I don't know a Bruce Cohn or a Paul Tudor Jones says something like this and uh, something like this and those two guys are um, one of the biggest traders of all time billionaires made billions of dollars trading the markets I mean they definitely know something about this business so I work with the stop now you place your stop in the next trade and what you do is when the market moves against you and is uh, close before hitting your stop what will you do you will take the stop out of the system or you say okay well I'll give it some more room and you start to somehow uh, put it somewhere where it can never be hit by the market if it keeps on moving against you. This is a shadow stop. It's like you try to catch your own shadow. You will never catch it. And um, this is exactly what is meant with saying you're working against your inner voice, which is trying to manipulate you here. Um, same thing for, for letting winners run. So how many times did you sit in front of the, of the screen and thought, well, hmm, I'm ahead now, I don't know, 20 points or something, probably using big leverage here. Um, the position is ahead. Um, in terms of euros, in terms of US dollars, which, whichever unit you, you prefer, um, is, is well ahead. You're probably made in 10 minutes more than you usually make in one month going to work. And then you say, well, you know what? I just cash in the chips. So first of all, the problem is also here, the inner voice, it's the mental game you're playing. And if you have a position which is way too big, you start to do things which are definitely um, resulting in the long term in losing your account. So n reducing the, the leverage is one thing here because it makes you psychologically, from psycho psychological um, standpoint, it makes you some kind of, of, of instable. Um, on top of that, if you're, if you're not capable of letting winners run because you are too scared to uh, let the market move against you again to, to develop a, let's say, trending structure, let's say higher highs and higher lows. Therefore, you need the market to pull back at some point and then keep on moving from there, making the higher highs. If you're not capable of, 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 of sitting tight here, you will have by far too many small winners. Um, and if you work with a shadow stop on top of that, then you, this will result in far too big losers. If you put those two um, 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 numbers together, the average winner, and you compare it to the average loser, and the ratio is way below one, um, you need to have a big, big hit rate here, a huge hit rate, to at the end come, al come out of this um, um, positively, uh, respectively meaning you're having a positive expected value. And I can te definitely tell you, um, if you're playing against all those people here, um, they will try everything to fool you and make sure that you are on the wrong side of the trade. So which means the expected value of your trading is definitely zero, which means in the long run, even if you have a, manage, um, 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 a good risk and money management plan, in the long run, you will definitely lose your account. Um, since your expected value is negative here. And um, so all these, all these things combined, um, do you have a game plan? That's the question. And do you know which columns profitable, I'm sorry, which, on which columns profitable trading is built on? If the answer is no, all you can, or you will hear from, from me or everyone who's trading the markets is good luck. That's all that we can say since uh, this is crucial, having a game plan, knowing what to do. So now here are the three columns of profitable trading. As you can see, it is um, very simple. It's risk and money management, it's trading psychology, and it's a strategy with an advantage. And now what we want to do is we want to combine those three. Since it's not possible to say, well, I have a good risk and money management plan, I have deep knowledge, good understanding of, of, of how to reduce losing positions and everything. If you do not know um, how risk and money management and trading psychology are, uh, how, how these two columns here interact with each other, you have no chance. Same thing if you do not know how trading psychology and trading with a um, 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 a strategy with an advantage, if how these two columns interact with each other, you have no chance. So you have to make sure that you're an expert on every, um, on every column here. This is something you have to make sure. And then you have not just to make sure that, you, that you're an expert on every of these three topics here, but on top of that, you have to understand how these three um, play together. And this is, by the way, there's, there's a little anecdote I can, I can tell you here. So I'm also a trading coach here. And uh, um, I'm, I'm having a, a student here in, in, in Germany who, um, uh, yeah, who, whom I 
taught how to trade and whom I uh, gave all these three columns and all the deep knowledge and everything to develop his own trading style. And um, let's say around one month or one and a half month ago, he, he called me and then he said, um, so first of all, this is something I have to add here. So during, during he studied and during I taught him all I know, um, he was like, well, okay, do we really need to, to talk about, let's say, expected values? Or do we really need to talk how important it is to have a strategy with an advantage? All this is completely clear to me. So, and, and you know, the, the thing is, there are many people out there who are very successful businessmen, entrepreneurs, people who made their living by taking smart risks. Um, people where I, as a, as a, as a, yeah, as a, as a young guy, let's say, okay, of a little over 30 years, um, 32 years, um, um, who, yeah, who, who just thinks, well, these people, they have probably double to three to probably 10 times more life experience than you have. Um, they, wanna, they wanna start trading they obviously have no clue how to start trading since they put already a lot of money in the account and lost most of it um, until they, they finally, uh, finally um, um, found out, okay, I have to do something about it. So obviously I do not have a, an idea what's going on here. And nevertheless, these people, they are very, very smart people, very, very good risk takers, very successful people. And um, you are in a position as a coach some sometimes you, you just think well who am i to tell him how to how to 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 run a business i mean he can teach me way more things about this since trading is like like running a business and um it's it's really difficult then because you, you just do not know how to say that to, to tell him hey you have to understand what an expected value is about if you do just if you do not understand this you have no chance Okay, this is one of the most important formulas in trading. And then you have to make sure that he understands how all these columns interact with each other. And, um, and um, he, he, he called me uh, after, after um, he studied and, and made, made his, his own way now and, and, and is starting to, 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 to get the, the message of all the content I delivered to him. And um, then he called me and said, wow, this is so complicated. I can't believe this. And I, I'm just smiling because what shall I say? I, I already told him, well, this is the hardest, the, this is the hardest, by far the hardest business in the world. And um, you are smart enough, you, you ran several businesses, you made a lot of money by this. And now you wanna, you wanna, you wanna conquer the trading world. You wanna play the Champions League, okay? And then he just looks at you and says, well, do you really, are you, are you serious? I mean, trading, can't be as hard as all the businesses I built and all the pain I went through. And, but I definitely, I believe it, it's, it is true. Even though I do not know what it feels like to, to build a big business and everything, um, based on my personal experience and all the pain I personally went through when, when it came to trading, I have to say, well, it's, it, it, it's hard to believe that there's anything out there um, which can be harder than trading is. And um, it, it obviously is, since I, I get the, 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 the con, uh, conviction out of this call, for example, from this successful guy who just called me and said, well, you're, you're completely right. It's, it's definitely not just the toughest game, but it's also the most complicated game. If, even though it's imp simple, right? It's, it's very easy to say, well, buy, buy low, sell high, Where's the big, what's the big deal about this? And this is exactly the thing, um, um, where I want to make sure that you, after um, um, listening to to my to my um, um, presentation here, that you get those this message that these three columns are um, not just the three columns you can um, consider independently from each other, but you have to to understand that all these columns they interact with each other, and you have to be an expert on every single column. And if you if you are not, you get a lot of trouble. Even though you are a risk and money management expert, if you can't take the pain, um, uh, um, um, seeing a position losing, seeing a position losing doesn't mean you're working without a stop or something, and the um, the position um, um, gets completely out of control. No, I'm I'm just talking about seeing the market moving five to ten pips against you. Um, well, you will never ever make money trading the markets. It's just impossible. Even though you have a um, profitable trading strategy with an advantage, and you're a risk and money manager expert. If you do not can stand the pain, you won't make it. Um, so now 
I def or let's say let's say um, I, I, I nearly said everything which is written down here. So is one column missing? Well, although these columns seem to stand here independently, they interact really strong with each other. So if a trader fails to succeed in one area or doesn't master it in detail, the chances of being profitable in trading are close to zero. So let's have a look at the following example and how the, the, the columns act interact with each other. So risk and money management and trading psychology. So working respectively trading with an adequate position size has consequences um, on the mental stability of the trader. That makes perfect sense since a position size which is far too big will lead to a behavior of fast profit taking and letting losing trades run. What am I talking about? Exactly the, or exactly the same thing I was already talking about. Just imagine you have a position on which is big enough to make sure that you're making, let's say, I don't know, half or probably the complete salary you're usually earning tra um, um, working one month in 10 minutes. So just imagine the following. So you, I don't know, um, you have a position in the DAX going where we say um, thanks to margin and everything, you're capable of buying 50 DAX. Okay. Now imagine the following. You are working as a, I don't know, you're working as a, cop or something. I do not know what cops earn, but let's say they earn something like 3,000 a month. Um, and now imagine the market moving, let's say, 30 points in, in your favor. So you, you set a position on and you say, the market moves 30 points in my favor from the start when I built a position, no matter where the stop is or something. So you're making, in 10 minutes, 15 um, um, 1500 so 1500 euros this is half of what you usually make um, working one month and imagine I, I would say working as a cop is a very stressful job okay so you're working here probably not just 40 hours a week but for 50 55 and you you have to 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 be there in winter you have to stand in front of a train station and and make sure that people um, are, are, um, are safe because of for whatever reason um, and now you're making this 1.5 grand in 10 minutes. So usually you're working for this really hard and now you make it in 10 minutes. So what do you think will you will do? Will you, will you cash in the chips or will you say, okay, well, I'm ahead 1.5, but my exit management says, put your stop at break even and wait until the trade keep or how the trade develops here. I have a clear exit management. I have a clear plan and I can easily manage this trade. Well, I think it's, um, it's, it's no big surprise that you will definitely cash in the chips. That's what we'll do. That's, what, that's what, what, what's common, what's most common. And um, the problem is here that this way, um, you're probably, you're probably uh, missing out a big trading opportunity. Just imagine you take, you take those 30 points, the market moves something like five, six points against you. Um, and you initially say, wow, great. I had a great exit here. And from there, the, mod the market doesn't look back anymore and closes over 200 points uh, ahead. And you're getting stopped out with like, I don't know, a profit of 200 points. So you, made, you could have made easily um, 10,000 euros on this trade in one day. Okay, this is three times and more as much as you usually make a month when you get something like 3,000 euros. Um, and all this, because you were, weren't capable of taking the pain a little longer. Respectively, you were trading way too big. You had no plan to, to how to exit the trade. Um, first of all, it's, it's especially true since you just traded way too big, since it started to affect your mental stability here. Um, this, in the long run, will lead to losing all your money. If you're trading too big, you will definitely blow, your, uh, blow up your account. It's just a matter of time. And the main reason is, therefore, you have to understand all those um, little pieces on risk and money management. I definitely bet your hit rate in the long run won't be, won't be way bigger. If you're a discretionary trader here, um, won't be way bigger than 50%. I definitely bet on this. If you then have just a risk reward of one to one, you're breaking even mathematically. After commissions, you blow your account. If you're a little below one to one in, in terms of the risk reward, you will definitely blow your account. On top of that, the commission, if they are high enough, then you have no chance. So, and all this comes up with just the fact that you're trading too big because you can't let your runners uh, you, you can't let your winners run, okay? Because, because of that, 
you are not capable of generating a payoff ratio and um, 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 a ratio here of, of um, um, the average, uh, average winner compared to the average loser, which is way bigger one to one, which is, yeah, you will, you will see what I'm, what I'm talking about. This would result in a positive expected value. And based on that, you're definitely profitable even after commissions. So trading psychology and trading an advantage uh, trading strategy, all these two um, play together as well. Changing your strategy over and over again, especially after seeing a series of losing trades, um, it's something we all know. How, and how many times did you change your trading strategy? How many times did you change it after you had a, a, a run of, let's say, I don't know, five losing trades and thought, okay, it doesn't work anymore. If you um, did the job before and you know that those runs happen, it's common that they happen, well, you just keep on trading the strategy. Since it's not one trade which makes you profitable, but it's um, the sum of all trades which makes you profitable in the long run. So just imagine um, trading as, I don't know, um, rolling the dice or something. So how big is the probability that you're hitting um, um, a four? It's one six, right? It's around 16 to 17%. Um, since it's, it's, uh, it's one out of six. So um, now just imagine what happens if you're, if you're saying you're rolling the dice six times. So usually you could or should get one, two, three, four, five, six um, once each, okay? But this won't happen. Just try it. Just take the take, just take, roll the dice at home and and see that. Well, I do not know. You you hit three times a row. You hit a two, or you you know what I'm talking about. And this is exact the same thing here. Um, in the long run, if you're doing this, let's say 100 times, 1,000 times, um, this is the the um, the law of the of the um, what's the what's the what's the English word? In German, we say uh, Gesetz der großen Zahl, but what's this in English? It's the, the big number, the law of the big number. I hope so, yeah. I, I hope that you, that you get what I'm talking about. Um, so since many do not know that it's the sum of all trades making trading profitable, um, they start to change the strategy over and over and over again before they ever, ever, ever started to or even started to um, um, trying to capitalize on an on a advantage they um, identified and probably they have in their trading. So, and um, changing the strategy from a mental perspective, the main reason here is that the traders usually do not trust their strategy since uh, they, they don't really talk um, uh, or they don't really know whether this approach is profitable. So this is the main reason. If I know that this is happening here over and over again, I'm losing five times in a row since um, um, if I, I, I've ran a back test here and I just know it, I, I've seen it, well, everything's fine. I can easily um, go um, um, and, and, and tr keep on trading the strategy. If I have a, a game plan, if I have a good risk and money management plan, I have no trouble losing five times in a row. Now, come back to the first thing. You're not just, um, you're not just here. Just, just imagine you have a trading strategy, which is advantage. You, you know that um, you're losing five times in a row. And now imagine what happens if you lost three times and you're betting too big. Now we come back to the first point, trading psychology. So you're losing three times. Now you put a lot of pressure on you. Why? Well, you just lost three times. It's possible that you're uh, losing another two times. You know that you're losing another two times. If you're betting too big again two times, you probably blow your account. This is putting a lot of pressure to you, which means you have an advantage trading strategy. You're still betting too big since your risk and money management sucks. And this means at the end, you have, um, you're, you're getting mentally uh, um, 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 unstable, which means you probably will take out out, um, a winner too fast or cut loser too short um, since since you say I, I do not give the market the room to 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 develop here to breathe and 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 to to make a winning trade out of this so all this combined you can see that that all these columns they they all play together somehow and uh, make you the long run unprofitable the high there's high probability that you will definitely lose money even though you have an advantage trading strategy so here the risk of money management and the advantage trading strategy how do these two interact with um, each other the question is how big is the advantage of the trading strategy and based on this information what is the optimal position size there we go um, to probably uh, to 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 um, um, keep drawdowns small while getting to see an optimal growth of the equity curve 
okay so you see all these three they play definitely well together with each other and if you suck in one area you will definitely have trouble the long run to capitalize on an advantage trading strategy if you do not have this advantage trading strategy well you will switch strategies over and over and over again why well you do not know that you have an advantage um, and uh, the same thing is true for, for the risk and money management. Even if you have an advantage trading strategy and you're betting too big and you just do not know what it is good and, 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 and uh, adequate risk and money management, well, this will definitely um, result in, in, in some mental instability and resulting in losing most of your money. So probably the, strat the strategy has a big enough advantage to somehow... Um, um, save you from completely blowing your account but all in all in the long run you won't make any money so all these three columns obviously um, yeah play play with each other so now let's have a look at all these three columns and if, if at, at each col um, um, each of these columns so the first one is risk and money management um, so which topic does a solid risk and money management plan cover um, so it's that understanding that trading is not about predicting direction of the market, but it's about making rational and intelligent bets. Okay, this is the same thing as I said with rolling the dice. So let's say, or flipping a coin is easier since it's not six, um, but it's just two, it's heads and tails. Um, an example from last week, just imagine the following. We, we are flipping, a, te um, uh, we are flipping um, a coin here. So I get two euros from you if it's tails, you get one or euro from me if it's heads. What do you think? Is this a rational and intelligent bet? And if so, for whom of us? The answer is simple. It's very rational and very intelligent if I play this game. And if you play this game, well, you're the fish at the table, you say in poker. Okay, you're definitely the fish. So you are the one paying everyone because you do not have an advantage here. It's a hit rate of 50% heads and tails. And you have a payoff ratio of an average winner of one euro and average loser of two euros. So in the long run, you'll definitely pay. The first two um, 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 times, you probably get um, heads. Now you say, okay, I cash in the chips and I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm go, bye bye. Um, this is the next thing. So surely you can do this, but when do you stop? Just imagine we start out and it's three times um, um, tails and I'm making six euros out of you. What will you do? Keep on playing until you made back hopefully three euros, so at the end to, to break even? Or will you play until you lost 20? So all here on top of that, you need a plan how to get out of such a losing streak. Um, you, first of all, hopefully you do not get in one losing streak. So And here's a big difference. If I'm saying um, getting out of a losing streak, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not allowed to lose. But if you lose money, if you're um, not betting intelligently, or if you're, if you're not making rational bets here, then it's, uh, that, then it's, it's, it's um, well, then, then it's just bad, okay? So let's, let's put it that way. So usually you should say, um, the moment you're making a rational bet, you get a good payoff, and um, all in all, the expected value of your bet is positive, everything's fine. Okay, so by the way, what is the expected value? That's something which is really interesting and very, really important. So it's probably the most important, um, uh, it's probably the most important um, formula you will ever, ever see in your trading. So if you take anything out of this um, presentation here, take this with you, since this formula perfectly shows why it's, for example, so important to let losers to cut losers short and let winners run. Since this is here something where you say it's the average winning trade and the average losing trade. Um, the hit rate is something you can't um, um, influence. It's, it's just like you can't say whether the market will go up or down as you can say whether it will be hats or tails if you're flipping a coin, okay? It's, it's purely coincidentally here, but if you're betting smart, you don't care about this. If you make a rational bet, if you say, I have a hit rate of 50%, in my case, hitting heads 50% of the time, and um, I have a payoff of two to one, which means I have an average winner, which is twice as much as the average loser, I'm definitely playing this game, even though I lose three, four, five times a row. All I need is to capitalize all enough on this 
um, advantage. And after, let's say, 20 trades, if you have a bad run, if you have a drawdown, it can be 50 times. Let's imagine it's, it's I mean, the, 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 the chances of, of hitting 50 times hats a row um, are really small. So it means you're, you have a chance of 0 0.5 um, and and uh, you 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 have um, what's what's the English word for this? In Germany we say uh, um, 0.5 hoch, hoch 50. Um, okay, but it's it's um, it, you you know this number you multiply 50 times one half. Okay, so 0 0.5, and this is something you multiply 50 times a row. You can type this in the in the calculator. You find out that this number is very very small. So the probability is there, but it's very very small. Um, even though if you do this 1,000 times, the longer you play the game, the higher the chances that you will come out ahead. Just imagine the following. Imagine we're playing this game with one and two euros. So you're getting two euros the moment it's heads and losing one euro once it's tails. So you're losing 50 times a row, so you're behind 50 euros. Something you have to definitely make sure you understand, you just need to hit 25 times heads now to come out break even. 25 times so you need half of the times to be right on the right side of the trade so um you can you can sum this up some in, in, in a more more in an easier way you can say um i allow myself to make a mistake okay this is something you have to remember if you start out trading something um you're, you're listening to this now as a complete newbie make sure that you allow yourself to fail that you do not blow up your account. Allow yourself to fail. Allow yourself to be on the right, on the wrong side of the trade. And this is something um, which you can make sure if you make sure that the average winner is way bigger than the average loser, since it reduces this so-called risk of urine dramatically. Okay. So in this case, this is the next um, 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 thing here. I'm not sure. Do I have this here? Oh, unfortunately not. Um, so understanding with a decreasing payoff ratio that the chances of hitting a risk of ruin increase inc exponentially. So I have a chart for this, which is exactly this and this here. So very important in this case. Um, you, can, you can sum this up with the words, again, allow yourself to fail. So the risk of ruin is the risk of blowing your account. And you can see here that if the payoff ratio is really high, you have a very, very small risk of ruin. So this is something which is perfectly summed up in this table here. Just imagine the following. So it's a German, um, it's a German um, a table, but, but this is here, it's Trefferquote. This is called um, um, hit rate in, in, uh, in English. So payoff ratio, it's the um, average winner. You divide it by the average loser. And now let's see here, you have a payoff ratio of three to one, which means um, you're getting on average three times more um, the case you win then you lose. So three to one means you're getting on average three euros um, for every euro on average you lose. So now imagine the following, you have a hit rate of 40%. This is less, this is not as good as, um, as a coin flip. It's, oh, I'm sorry. It's, um, it's, it's worse than that, okay? So coin flip is 50%, 40% is, is definitely, um, 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 worse. So you can see here the risk of ruin is zero. Zero means you have no chance of blowing your account. It's completely impossible. You can't blow your account. Um, and uh, therefore, there are also some, some things like, like Monte Carlo simulations, for example. I haven't prepared one, but something I could show you now is um, if you play this game long enough here that you're, you'll see a massive increase of your, of your equity over time. Um, on the other hand, you can have a hit rate of five to one, getting five euros for each you're losing on average and having a hit rate of just 10%, one out of 10, well, you're done. You definitely blow your account. It's just a matter of time. So even if you, let's say, you're, you're, um, you're hitting the first um, 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 bet and you're making five euros here, so the next nine times you will lose and uh, you will definitely be behind four euros. Now it depends on how many uh, risk um, um, units do you have, but uh, the bigger, the bigger um, here the, the, the batting um, size is, the, the more, and, and not just more, but the, the faster you will lose all your money. Okay, so these, these two charts are perfect examples of what it means allow yourself to fail. So try 
to make sure you have a high payoff ratio in your trading and try to somehow increase over time, let's say, um, the hit rate. So you won't have a big hit rate at the beginning um, when starting trading. So you can get a big hit rate by just taking small, um, small profits out of the market. The only problem is that there will be runs when you will definitely lose. If you do not have an adventurous trading strategy or you're, uh, I don't know, HFT or self or something, well, you will definitely have a problem of, of, of having a high hit rate here. The higher the hit rate, the higher payoff ratio, the higher the profitability um, in your trading, since these are the two core um, aspects of, of the formula of expected value. So now the other things is here, there's a lot of text in this. Um, if you're interested in, uh, in these charts, please just let me know um, and I can shoot over this, this, um, this, this PowerPoint presentation here. I want to um, um, sum all this up now and uh, come to a very, very interesting um, um, idea here. It's the jerks dotson curve. And um, it's also in German, but it doesn't matter since uh, you can also find this chart here when, and in this case, we do the following. Let's go over to to Wikipedia, one second. So you can find this curve there too. So it's not my idea, but it's perfectly showing, um, it's perfectly showing what it means or how it looks like, let's say, how it looks like if you're losing, if you're losing, um, uh, if, if you're losing your mental uh, stability. So you can see here, this is the performance. So it's weak and it's strong. So it's weak performance, it's strong performance. And here's your arousal. It's low and it's high. As you can see, and this is something you can read many times and many people say that, especially traders who do not really know what they're talking about. This is something where you can spot the difference between someone who really knows what, it's, um, what it is um, to, to, to have a mental stable um, 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 level here in your trading and yeah, someone who, who doesn't know that respectively who someone, or you can, you can spot someone who's probably not even trading himself. So what I wanna say here is the following. Um, you need a certain level of arousal to perform well in your trading in every every aspect of your life okay so just imagine you you say many say well do not get emotional with your trading what they say what they mean is in fact that you should avoid to uh get here in a in a state of a high arousal where impaired um, performance because of for example strong anxiety um, getting nervous getting uh, getting nervous after um, um, a long streak of, of losers not knowing what to do um, building position size revenge trading trying to get back what you just lost in your trading as soon as possible since you can't stand to to be behind on the day or something um, not working with stops anymore all this, if you put all this together, this is exactly here. This is where you get emotional with your trading. Nevertheless, a certain level of um, emotion in your trading is crucial. Since this is the same thing, just imagine it. Um, if, you, if you look at uh, a soccer game, if you watch a soccer game, and um, then you see, let's say, I don't know, Cristiano Ronaldo, okay? He has, to, he has to come to a certain temperature. He has to have a certain level of arousal here. Um, to then be capable of performing well. Just imagine he just um, um, steps out of the, of the team bus. He just um, moves in the, uh, um, 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 he mo moves on the, fel on the field and, and then he starts to run as crazy to, to catch the next, um, um, the, the, the ne the next uh, um, um, pass here from, from one of his teammates. Just imagine that. How long do you think will this take until he has to 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 leave the field again? Probably um, with a um, with with um, being with being wounded um, and not being capable of performing well anymore. So you have to 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 warm up. You need to warm up every time. So there needs to be some some driver in your trading. So let's say you want to make money. I don't think it's it's a good thing to 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 only trade because of the money. But if you say, I have to make money, that was, by the way, a very fantastic quote here from, from uh, Tom Baldwin, a bond trader, um, who, who just sat in, in Market Wizards in the interview with, with Schwager. He said, well, I had to make money. 
That was when his wife was pregnant and he had, I don't know, 20, 25,000 to his name and he started trading. He stood there as a clerk and then one day he just said, okay, I have, I have to go now, I have to trade. And um, he had the pressure, he felt the pressure, but this pressure was perfect for him to let him perform well. Some of us might say, well, I can't stand this pressure. What I need is to, to, to have a, um, a solid stand, a solid fundament. I, have to, I, I need to know that my family is safe, that I, I paid the, the bills already, that I paid the rent and everything. Um, this is something some others might, might need for their trading, for their life to perform well. But all in all, we can say, you definitely need some kind of arousal to perform well and it can be different for everyone out there. But saying that emotions in trading are definitely um, um, are wrong, I can't really, I, I can't say this is, this is true since you need some kind of driver. You need some kind of driver to perform well as you need a warm up in sport. And this is exactly what you need to find out. Um, this is exactly what you need to find out. So your target is to somehow find a good way to reach this point here at the Dirk Stotson curve. Um, so it's the, the level where um, the, the optimal arousal, let's say, where you can perform your very best, okay? So now the next thing, also here, very, very um, much taxed, but um, let, let us go through this. I probably, it's, it's the best thing. Unfortunately, I do not have a chart um, here. Um, so what does it mean to have an advantage trading strategy? So to have an advantage trading strategy, which in fact means having a strategy which has a positive expected value, even after trading the strategy over a long time frame, like flipping a coin and having a payoff of two to one, um, <coughs> and uh, where you say um, you traded it over a longer time frame under different market conditions, so the strategy proved that it worked well under different market conditions. It's uh, a robust, if you want. Um, and uh, you, you, you definitely know that you do not reach the point of ruin here. Um, this means I trade advantage, I trade an advantage trading strategy. The strategy has to fit the personality respective to the character of the trader, which also means it has to fit the life circumst circumstances of, of, of you of him or her, okay? That means someone working full-time, 50 hours a week, let's say, um, will very unlikely be able to trade and approach profitably, which generates 50 trades a day. Hardcore scalping, okay? But let's say, okay, you have an expert advisor doing this for you. But all in all, if you, if, if, um, if you need to look after the expert advisor, if it performs well, have a look at the market conditions, um, well, you will have trouble, that's it, okay? So probably you need to find another approach um, trading the markets. There are several other approaches um, over long term. Let's say you, you just need to check the, the, the quotes here once a day at the end of the day and then formulate your trades at the end of the day. That's something you can easily do and also working 50 hours a week. But nevertheless, it's something which um, fits, your, um, which your, fits your, your life circumstances. Um, hardcore scalping is probably not the right choice for you. There's so many people out there thinking, hey, I want to be a trader. Okay, okay, well, well okay, I'm, I'm, I'm full-time working or I am studying, I have to be at university. Nevertheless, I want to trade the market open, let's say in the DEX. Um, I don't think this will work since you will be in university. Just imagine, I mean, if you want to trade, why do you sit in, uh, in, a, in a lecture here in, in university? Why? Why? I mean, take the um, laptop at home, trade the market opening, or go to university, but both won't work, okay? So, and that's definitely something you have to consider when you want, will, when you will find, want to find, want to find an advantage trading strategy. Um, on top of that, you need to understand that having a profitable trading strategy also means that the trader is confident and firmly believes in the strategy based on solid backtest he ran and where he could see that the strategy works in the long run. So this is crucial, okay? Since the perfection in trading and reaching the state of unconscious competence, there you can see, okay, it's trading psychology again. It's not just trading psychology, but it's also risk and money management. So if you run a backtest and you want to optimize, um, the strategy, you want to see, is it robust? And, and what can I do to keep, it, um, 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 to keep it robust here, but nevertheless try to increase the chances of being more profitable while reducing the um, risk of re reaching the risk of reading the point. Um, so this um, 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 perfection trading and reaching the state of unconscious competence can just be achieved if the trader keeps on trading it over and over and over again. 
okay? So, and in this case, I, I remember a very great quote from Bruce Lee. He once said, I don't fear the man who practices 1,000 kicks one time each. I fear the man who practices one kick 1,000 times, okay? Just imagine what this means. You have a trading strategy which you perfectly um, believe in, which is perfectly for you, which perfectly fits your, 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 your lifestyle. Well, and now imagine you're doing this over and over again. You will master this. You will have times where you probably will have a seminar. So you'll, you'll become a great trader. You might make money out of this and um, you have a great life. And then you'll invite it from, let's say a broker. And they, they say, okay, now stand in front of, a, of an audience and, and present to him your ideas. We really appreciate this. And you stand there, you present those ideas. And after the presentation, someone comes to you and says, well, I can't believe you're making trading with the shit you just talked about, <laughs> okay? And not because they, they don't think trading is cool, but they think trading is cool, but your trading style sucks. Just imagine that. I mean, it's, it's funny, right? You, you completely believe in your strategy and you can just smile at him. You just can't smile at him since you say, well, um, I think if you, if you know all the things I know and if you mastered your own strategy and found your own way of, of, of trading the markets and getting money out of it constantly, um, you wouldn't say something like this, okay? And so this is really, and this is something which is completely true for, for your whole life somehow. And um, I think it perfectly fits here, this quote from, from Bruce Lee. Um, you shouldn't fear a trader who has, I don't know, 10,000 strategies, se several strategies, but you should fear the one who knows what he's doing and this know he, where he knows he's doing it perfectly, okay? And um, yeah, so that's where this presentation starts to come to an end. Um, if you're looking for profitability in your trading, and let's say you're looking for an educational course, your seminar, um, a mentor, um, which is bringing you exactly there, trading profitably, um, then you should always have a look for someone who is uh, who, who's offering something which is built on these three columns, risk and money management, trading psychology, and building an advantage trading strategy. So risk and money management in this case, what does profitability in trading mean, for example? having a positive expected value. Do you remember the formula? Did you write it down? Well, just scroll back in this presentation and write it down since this answers the question, uh, what does it mean? It doesn't necessarily mean you understand what it means, but nevertheless, um, it increases the chances um, of, of uh, getting the main message of uh, risk and money management. So what is the payoff ratio, the risk of ruin? What is the technique called scale out, how to per Mondays, when and trade, for example, all these things. This is what, what good risk money management is built on. Then trading psychology, the four steps of learning Okay, so it's not just unconscious competence, but this is the, the last point here. You have conscious, conscious competence before that. Before that, you have conscious incompetence. Before that, you have unconscious incompetence. Um, these are the, the four steps of learning, and you always want to reach the, the, the final stage, which is, which is unconscious competence. Um, good and bad emotions and how to profit from them. Okay, I, I just mentioned that getting emotional in trading sometimes is definitely something you have to consider. Getting com emotional doesn't necessarily mean that you're, um, that you're running hot and cold here, but it means that, that you know what to do to warm up to perform at the highest possible level you can achieve. Um, how to reach the zone, is this, this is exactly by the way the thing. So this is called something the zone here. This is what you want to reach here. Um, you create um, one personal trading psychological um, profile, for example, which you go through every day. Um, building an advantage trading strategy, so formulating a trading idea, so having an idea, then building a professional risk and money management approach, preparing for mental um, um, uh, um, tripping um, hazards, and, and so on. All these things, they, they uh, yeah, all these things, this is, um, this, is, this is crucial when it comes to, 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 um, to trading, to understand. And now you might say, well, um, why does this guy know what he's talking about? And therefore, I have a chart here. Unfortunately, this is a little longer away. So 
um, right now I'm trading here, so I'm having lots of difficulties with the with the market environment. But I didn't um, I didn't I didn't lose anymore. So I'm I'm just trading here. I'm waiting for market to develop uh, the right direction. Let's say where uh, develop the way where my profit my, where my strategy becomes profitable again. But um, this is here something um, which which was which was uh, presented on my on my website for quite a while, and now I, I I'm working on on. Um, replacing it with the uh, managed account I'm offering. And um, it shows that here, all these things I just mentioned, um, they um, play a very important role in my trading. So for example, the hit rate here, or the payoff ratio. Um, if you put these numbers in the formula for the expected value, we'll find out I'm, I'm profitable with my trading. I have to, since it's from a mathematical standpoint, it's impossible not to be profitable. Um, you all can see that the max drawdown, for example, is, is um, uh, quite big. Compared to the average risk per trade, it's not big at all, to be honest, since uh, most of it was in the range between 1% to 1.5%, and then you can easily reach such a drawdown by uh, yeah, being on the wrong side uh, a little more often than on the right side of the trade, especially with a hit rate of 44%. And, um, but this is definitely something worth to consider here. Um, since it, it's not meant to, to, um, to, to, uh, to boast or something, but what it's meant is that it perfectly makes sense based on what I said. I know what I'm doing, and I know that I know what I'm doing, and this is very, very important. This is something um, you should probably take out of this presentation for you, that you say, well, um, what I have to have is, is a clear plan, a game plan. Now we come back to the, first si uh, to the first slide. You have to have a clear game plan. You have to know yourself well. And if you know yourself well, and if you can start to capitalize on that, that will be the time when you start to make trading um, money with your, with your trading. Yeah, and so that's it uh, from my end. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I wish you a nice evening and um, happy trading all the time, sure. Um, watch your stops and if you uh, want more of this uh, just join the YouTube channel from uh, JFD Broker so there is daily the morning meeting at 10.30 a.m. GMT you're um, invited it's for free and uh, I'll give an overview of my personal thoughts on the market there um, and then how to probably find some trading ideas formulate trading ideas trading setups with a positive expected value and uh, yeah so that's it from my end I hope you enjoyed the the uh the presentation and uh, talk to you again quite soon i look forward to it see you and bye bye